Dad, seriously, you need to get dressed. The wedding's in 45 minutes. You see that? That was almost seven. Seven's good luck. You're gonna need luck with the baby coming. What are you talking about? Josephine's pregnant. How do you know? You just told me. <laughs> now, when I work for the circus, I got a knack for reading expressions. Useful around lions. Also, she didn't drink at the rehearsal dinner. Okay, Dad, nobody knows she's pregnant. You can't tell Mom. Why not? Because it's super early. Statistically, there's a good chance it might not happen, so... Statistically? Yes! Now, what are the odds of you, an Alabama boy, meeting an American girl all the way out in what, Baghdad? Yeah, tell me the odds of that. Statistically. Well, we're both reporters, so it's not all that remarkable. Lord, Will, I hate to see the rainbows in your world, but they're all shades of gray. <laughs> it's just the baby. I don't want to jinx it. Well, look at that. That's seven. Everything's gonna be fine. Promise me you won't say anything. And what we talked about earlier, no stories, no toasts. When have I ever embarrassed you? Fine. I'm not great around orchestras, but I really did think I could play that violin. Didn't look that hard. Oh, honey, go put your tux on. Ah, uh, Will was holding me up. Look at you, you're gorgeous. Give me a kiss. I just did my face. Go now, go put on my tux. Hey, you with that violin, let me see that. Are you nervous? No, yes. I, Mom, about that. I know you can't control it. I could just as easily control the weather. Dad is like the weather. I, I can predict him, sort of, but I fundamentally do not understand him. I don't get him. He's this baffling hurricane. Well, if you're gonna worry about anyone, worry about your mother. Leaving me for a woman on television. You love Josephine. Yes, I do. You know, we turn on the cable news just to watch her. She's so smart and pretty and kind. But you're my little Alabama lamb all the way up there alone in New York. Do you want to practice one more time? Absolutely. Or together. Side, together. Back. Together. Not out loud, Will. Right, I'm sick of it. Yeah, I'm sick of you treating me like a child. 
What? So the son doesn't let his father so coach his wife. does this. Go up, Will. I did. You weren't there. You were never there. I was building yeah. a business. You were running away. From what? From you? From reality. All I got from you were a bunch of crazy stories about how awesome you are. And I'm sorry, Dad. That's not the man I see. Maybe you didn't bother looking. Stop it. Both of you. Before you say something you can't take back. I'm done. So am I. You all right? That boy is bullheaded. I don't know where he gets it. No, no, I'm talking about you. Now, how long has this been going on? You said it's going away, Doc. I'm fine. Well, you lost weight. Exercise. Didn't you see me dancing? Doc, I'm fine. Now, I'm sure you are, but you just come along in on Monday, and we'll be doubly sure. <laughs> from beyond where we thought. But doesn't that mean? Of course it doesn't, honey. We just have ambitious cancer at all. Exactly. We're gonna keep going though, right? Or try something new? Well, there's a conversation to be had about what we do next. Same Need to call Will. We never should have kept this from him. Fine. Well, you needn't worry him. Will doesn't know about any of this. Now, he's got his own life up in New York. No sense of bothering him. You thought I was making it up? No. I'll get dressed. Meet you outside. Well, we're gonna have a son. I know. A son. 